Hey everybody, another day in the verse, and uh, the lovely Baller and I, as you can see, uh, say hi Baller. Hello. And hello to you, Derry. We're about to jump on our beautiful mole for the next couple of days, and do some, uh, some team mining. Um, combining two of the things we both love to do. I love to fly, she loves to mine. And this craft affords us that ability and meets kind of both of our enjoyment factors in game. So you'll get a chance to see how we actually choose to two person operate the Argo Mole, which may be different than the way other people do. But we've become pretty proficient at it. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, wrap that up with an actual screen capture of the haul that we pull in when we're done. But for now, this is all the housekeeping stuff of getting in the ship and in the, through the right doors and getting into the cockpit. So we'll be back when we're uh, close to getting ready to get started with mining operations. See you then. Hey everybody. Uh, good afternoon. As you can see, we we're off doing some mole mining and came across a cluster of eight Hadonite rocks, FPS rocks, so Bala wanted to go do them. I can't pass up a set of eight because that makes it well worthwhile. It would be a good 60, 70 grand. Yep. And uh, I don't have a mining laser, but I do have a backpack, so I'm going to come help. Because we figured out that it works well if uh, we're both on the ground. But we'll see what happens. Whoop. Apparently, what the door. So today we're also testing our new audio setup. I'm hoping that it helps um, record both of our voices at the same time, as well as the ambient game sounds. It's very important to be able to hear me. Are you all ready to pick up rocks, babe? Uh, it will be in a second. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one then. Okay, just gotta put my rucksack on. Okay. It is a beautiful day to be mining, to be outside. It's a lot of you, eh? Yeah. Yeah, what did she said. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm not, because apparently I cannot mount the rucksack. Oh, you have a different um, Under Armour on? I don't know. I have two rucksacks available. One is in use. Which is bizarre because um, yeah, this is a bug, I guess. I, I don't think that it should matter um, which undersuit. But now I can't equip anything. Uh, Okay, when I'm done with this, I'll go get them. In fact, I can't put any of my torso armor on. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, another wonderful day with my tune being completely booched. Oh, and now, apparently... As long as you're not running around naked. Oh, there we go. Now I can wear the backpack. Oh, yeah. 
That'll make this just that much faster. Because I know you don't like doing it, but... Oh, it's not that I don't like doing it. It's just... Odd. And, Oops. Um, Boy. Apparently. So remember that if you crouch, which is control, supposedly you're supposed to be able to pick these up faster. Yeah, it's not letting me change the backpack. Oh, it's not? No. Um, no. If I switch on your seats. So I guess I'll just watch you mine. Okay. I'll try not to take up too much time. Well, I can pick a few of them up, right? Or can I get like 10? Is that how it works? I'm not quite sure. I think I got 10 the last time. can't stand is that sometimes you don't have the stow option. Yeah, I just hover over them until one of them says stow. Oh, is that what you do? Yeah. Alright. Oh, you're out there? Are you yeah. going to get that rock? Okay. Yeah, I'm working on these. You know what would be awesome? What? Is if, like, you know how I had boxes last time? Yeah. But I only had ten in the box? Yeah. It would be awesome if you could just keep adding to the box until it was full. Yeah, that would be great because it is annoying to have like a box takes up space, right? Uh, um, I got the second rock, by the way. Oh, good. And you should because you're doing the work and then, you know, at least it puts a little bit of cash in your pocket too when we're done. Oh, uh, I got plenty. Oh, I know. You're loaded. I know. <laughs> it's good to be me right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I got two million three, I think. Just for my daily mining. Because I can't really... I don't like to let a day go by when I don't mine. Just because I like it. Not because I need the money, right? Right. But yesterday, I did not get any mining done. But we did do a lot. Yeah, we had a lot going on. And um, it was good stuff. We got the audio worked out. Come on, you son of a... There we go. Come on. Oh. oh. Wow. Did I get hurt? I don't think so. I don't see any blood. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good shot of you breaking that up, though. You did? Yeah. Kind of zoomed in on you right now. Oh look, I can hit double F. Yep. That's much faster. Mhm. Mm yep, and it'll just target whatever is usable in front of you, and then you don't have to go picking it up. That's much better. And you know what? If I keep the gun in my hand, it's even better. Nice. And I hadn't heard that before. I said. If I heard if you held a rock in your hand that it did that, but if I can do it just holding the mining tool, that's much better. Oh, I'm going to agree. Oh, something new we learned today. Good stuff. And I don't suspect that that's going to change in 3.9. Uh, well, I honestly think that they've done such a good job with my, the mining gameplay that 
yeah, there are still bugs, but I think for the most part, though, it's gameplay that works. And why change anything? And then they can focus on something else, like cargo or whatever else. Yeah. Needs the most work. No, I agree with you. Oh, this is... Oh, don't... Mm -hmm. Oh, we're pretty good. I wonder if it works if I crouch. Alright, now let's see if I can do double. Nope. See, if you do double, double left, you can't, from the crouching position, it doesn't work. Actually, it just completely stopped working for me. That's because you're no longer just holding the gun. You're actually holding the gun like you're going to mine. I but, am? Yeah, try pressing R. Like you have both hands on the gun. No, I am. So now what I have to do is I have to pull up my Moby Glass, get out of my Moby Glass, then push R, and it goes away. Yep. Okay. So the double F click should still work. Oh, it just forced me to parry it. Let's try. Oh, I'm going to show this. Yeah, this is not my friend right now. This isn't working well. Right after I went and said that mining was good. <laughs> there, it came back. It came back. Lost it. And it still is. So, see, so sometimes you get in the position where it won't let you stow the one in your hand, so you have to, you can't even place it, you have to drop it. And then you can pick it up and stow it. For some reason, your personal inventory shows up. Stow. Oh, well, that's true. The personal inventory thing could change the way you interact with things on the planet because that's part of that player, you know, UI enhancements. Yeah. So, I don't know, who knows? But I agree with you. It, seems like a waste of space to have the giant box with 10 things in it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm ha done with half, babe. Nice. All right. We'll take a quick break from recording and uh, keep it going later. Okay, so Vala just finished grabbing all those rocks. Whee! Wow. Well, I just learned how to jump and I love it. Yeah, that was a big jump. <laughs> oh, gravity, right? That's pretty cool. So we'll look at our mall. Such a pretty ship. Um, I, I don't know. I guess some people would say it isn't pretty. It's all blocky and chunky and whatnot, but I think it's extraordinary. It's a good utility chip, yeah. you know? It's, it's absolutely useful in so many awesome ways. And, uh, you know, it's cool. Industrial. Rugged. 
like a an espresso machine. I can't wait to actually be able to use that. Um, you know, it's got its grinders here going on. You can see there it's chewing rock, even though we haven't found any. But that's okay. All in good time, babe. Yeah. So now we're back to looking for actual rocks to mine with the ship. Oh, I think I broke the ship. Uh-oh. I got in the turret. Oh, no. There you go. You're all right. Why is it still showing all these giants? It's, it's remnants from what we were doing. It's ghosts. And probably that one that I just completely blew up probably left gems around. Maybe. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, I'm not. Test fire your laser, just turn it on, make sure it's still working. Yep. Alright, good. I'm gonna go in the back and empty my box, babe. I mean, put my gems in a box. Well, why don't you just wait? I can. I want less chance of falling out of the turret. You know? Yeah, that's true. So there's currently a bug with the 382 that has been fixed according to some notes I read about in 39. That um, if you get out of the turret, one of the side turrets in the mole, you can fall through and it bugs the turret. It's happened to us um, where you actually fall out of the ship, you break your legs. Um, I died. You died from it. Um, oh, there we go. Nine and a half of greasy, I'm on 46. That's a pretty good rock. I'll take it. Okay. Let's see what this other one is. Big old gold rock. What was the third one? Junk. Um. Yeah, it's just that middle one. One. Oh, that's weird. It's embedded in another rock. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting break. Hopefully, its resistance won't cause you too much trouble. There you go. Thank you. Well, it's only 46, right? Yep. So, are you going to help me? Do you want me to? I thought I just saw your cherry. Oh, I can, yeah. No, you don't have to. No, I'll do it. That's probably a good idea with, uh, because I think I have the Hofstede or the Pilot card now. Yeah, I could use a bit of green. Well, unfortunately, without the healings, it's not going to increase the green, but it'll drop that instability, so you'll have... Oh, okay. So the instability is at 1.04. That's not really that high. No, well, see what happens. I'm laying low until you get down there because I don't want it to be a wasted trip for you. I wish um, they made it easier to figure out when you're loading the lasers, which laser you've got in the turret. Oh! Yes, it dropped that it instability. It dropped 50%. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So by taking that instability level down, it means there's less likelihood of it spiking and blowing up and going crazy. So it is actually a useful laser, but it's not as powerful as the helix, but with the helix being as powerful as it is, um, this laser as a buffer is just kind of really very useful. Yeah, like the helix could have busted this rock on its own, but sometimes it makes more sense to, you know, reduce the instability, like this particular rock is embedded in another one, and um, you don't want, you just don't know what's going to happen, what that rock's going to do when it explodes. So that's 34 aluminum. <laughs> Look at that, 700 mass, only 2.46 aluminum. Yeah, that's a lot of inner That's junk. a crappy piece. That's aluminum. See, I think I have a greasium. There's an 800 here with 43% and 1% aluminum. Yeah, that's the one I just keyed in on. I want to, oops, I want to look at the other one, and that's only aluminum. So we've narrowed Whoa. it down to one rock. No, there's a 14% are hiding. Oh, really? On your side? So on your side, 501 I mass. Don't, I don't see that. It's still yellow. I'm going to try to break it. So go ahead and work okay, on that Okay, you break that. One. I'm going to get this one. Yep. That's what I like about cooperative. I know it's a pain for him to go 
up and down from piloting the ship to lasering, but once we get into a groove, it's kind of fun to work together on a rock. Normally that doesn't happen, but if I see a really unstable one or a huge one, like I don't like to work on anything um, over like 700 on my own really, just because it's too much and it overheats the lasers and they start complaining. And I busted that rock and it did not move. Yeah, we're going to have to use the tool on this because it broke into it. Stole down to one high. Well, oh, it's 5% of degrees and 26% aluminum, so I'll let you use the tool. Um, we, we fired a spreadsheet tool that somebody posted um, that helps calculate. Um, or value of a rock and how much inert you're going to pull up um, with it. So it's really a cool thing, especially in a mold because you can bring, you know, almost twice the amount of cargo on board and you don't want your runs to turn into um, inefficient ones because you're bringing on too much garbage. So like this rock, 70% of it is... sellable goods and only 40% of it's in there and 200 mass rocks so that's not terrible okay I lost my adhesive I don't know where it is I only got one 82 mass 100% well there's a 200 so there's got to be more over there's a 202 like. 28 rock here yeah the one that's 35% yep yep and but that's also 40% aluminum so that's 75%. Right. So what I'm going to do is go to fracture mode and work on nuking some of this aluminum out of the way. All right. I'm going to take this to be seen now, right? Yep. Go ahead. So what we're doing is using one laser now to clear out the garbage rock by fracturing it into oblivion. Because we don't want it in our way. And sometimes the rocks hide the good stuff, so you got to blast it out of the way to um, find the better rocks underneath them. Like, yeah, there's 100% of Griesium right there hiding. Good, because I couldn't find it. 168 mass. 168? Yep. I'm recording all this on that spreadsheet, so. That's more aluminum. Fry that out of existence. Mm -hmm. picked up the 168 yep that rock's worth nine grand nine grand yep wow that's awesome and the one i picked up with the mass of 86 was 4600 and the one i got for 36 percent mm -hmm. with the 34 percent aluminum was only four grand see so sometimes it doesn't make sense to pick up a partial rock like that seems to be aluminum left over now and uh and our cargo's at 14 percent nice okay you got us on a new rock carry on okay we'll be back in a bit with more uh mole mining nice so val just brought a fifteen thousand dollar rock down split this big pile and had one degreesium rock out of it Sorry, I didn't get my recording going quick enough to catch it on screen, but we had to uh, actually do a, a quick maneuver here because the server we were on suddenly became unstable and we couldn't mine anymore. And it was a shame because we were on a really great rock and uh, we couldn't, we fractured it eventually using 
lasers, but we couldn't extract it. But we managed to dump the hand mineables that we got off, and then we just uh, went up to the OM and logged out in the mall's beds and logged back in after a while, and now everything's working again. But these are sometimes the things that get in your way. And, um, it's good that we're back on the fish. Val, you gotta remind me to put the link to that spreadsheet in the comments in this video. Oh yeah, that spreadsheet's great. Yeah. I mean, it's been a lot, and no offense to anybody who's built one in the past, but this one seems to really sync, really seems to work really well. And there's an additional script that you can add to the scripting editor that someone else put together that will automatically reset all the numbers after each mining run. So we had a mining run yesterday. I filled it in with about 10 rocks, each with the composition of each rock. And with the click of one button after I installed the script, it just zeroes out the whole spreadsheet, but yet still keeps the formulas in there. So that's a must have, unless of course you like deleting things off spread spreadsheet one by one. So. <laughs> Yeah. Look, look at that rock. It's hidden way back there. See it? I'm glad it's barrel. Yeah, that would be a tough break. Yeah. And the other one's gold. Yeah. So we'll just keep moving on. Because this is the SS Agrisium. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any of that crap rock on our, on our ship. As you can see, Damar is. Uh, Oh, a strange moon, and it um, sometimes it's clear as a bell. We're in a bit of a sandstorm here, and that's okay. So the other thing that we started doing was trying to mess around with head tracking. Um, to and I'll show you when we get past this rock. I want to try to start using it while I'm doing this to eliminate the need for me to use free look sometimes can jam up on you and cause trouble, but I, I'm a little leery about using it at night in dark conditions because it's hard for me to always reset it back to the straight. I think that's just a question of getting used to it, but it might be easier, and I'll show you what I mean by it. right now I'm looking left or right using um, a free look hotkey and my joystick. But if I turn on head tracking, you know, I should theoretically be able to just look to the right and see out that window, look to the left, see out that window. And that should help me for the scanning portion of this. As long as you don't get dizzy. Well, yeah, I don't want to get, you know, dizzy and wind up crashing the ship, right? You know? you know, I mean, I suppose I could put a hot key on it so that you know change that reload card key so that it snaps me right back to the front when I'm not scanning that might actually be useful because as you can see it kind of moves around quite a bit it doesn't stay completely stable I do like that um, I do like that it allows me to without having to push a button. Whoop. All right, now I want to turn it off. Because <laughs> that rocks to the front. Um, so yeah, I might reset that and use that. I think it's a neat tool and a good way to use it to help with this because you only can see what's immediately in front of you in uh, first person view. And not only does it not break immersion, but it's actually a really useful feature for this particular part of the job. And, um, I'm starting to like it. I love how the rocks just kind of like appear. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, I, 
I know it, it might seem strange, but like on our HOTAS setups, we largely have them set up for things like navigation and mining operations, as opposed to fighter operations, which most people would have on their setups. But that's not our gameplay. So for us, it's things that help with navigation tasks and mining tasks, like switching scanners. <coughs> You know, I have some buttons that someone might have hotkeys and missile launches on, you know, maybe you just toggle between this, you know, attenuator view and the scanning mode, which just makes more sense for us um, because of the type of gameplay that we do. I might put together one of those maps um, for the Thrustmaster 1600 combo. People are interested. Uh, it's crap rock. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll happily share it with them. But uh, pretty much, have eliminated the need to touch a keyboard with the use of um, things like the mapping of the features and functions we use the most. The use of Game Plus to do a lot of the shield modulation work sense for us you know while we're out mining like if you notice um, I'll show you when Val's working on a rock again get there um, that I have the shield set to forward uh, forward front double strength as well as the right side or the starboard side which is where she is because that affords us the best protection when something goes wrong yeah. Crap rocks. But okay. Um, and, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but the last rock before the half um, was a 3,900 mass rock, and it had 2.3% of Grecium, but that's just too low and not really worth getting the Grecium because you're going to end up getting more often times than not a lot of inert with it or a lot of the bogus ore that comes with it and so we will pass up Grecium if it's something that doesn't make sense that's a good point um, I mean yesterday we, we did a run it was about 180k and we had a large amount of Grecium, a little bit of Taranite but we had only like what 2% or no, under ten percent. It was six percent. Yeah, and that's just the goal right there. That makes it all worth doing. Um, and you're not going to get that if you pull in those low percentage rocks. So as we fine tune what we're doing, um, another thing that we we found is if you have a low percentage. Well, like, you know, above 5% of Grecium, we're not going to touch anything lower than that usually, unless it's a really huge rock. But we also like to, it to be mixed with, um, like, titanium or diamond. And if it's a high concentration of titanium or diamond and a lower percentage of a Grecium, say, or Taranite, it's still, the titanium is still, you know, funny. Um, so that that's a lot better than breaking up a rock and getting 2% of Grecium and 2% aluminum or 10% aluminum, right? That's not going to give you a good ROI, where the titanium would give you a better ROI if you could get a, a stone um, separated that contained that too. So, I mean, we're fine-tuning as we're going, and it's making it fun because especially using this new tool, because you can break up your rocks, see the composition of each broken piece, put it in the calculator, and you can say, oh, all right, this is a $15,000 piece of rock, or this is only, you know, $1,500. It's not worth going for that Bexalite, for example. So it's really kind of cool. Okay, Sorry, that was a little serious. Oh, no, I get serious about my rocks. You care about this stuff. I'm I really do. 
I mean, most of the time I'm just doing this part, but you know, the, the true partnership of this adventure is to make sure that the person who's sitting in that turret cares about the quality of the rock that we're bringing on board. And that's my only, you know, um, concern about multi-crewing mining is you might not have um, someone in the turret that's really taking that part seriously and they're bringing on garbage rock and you won't know it until you go to trade it all in and then you find out well we just spent an hour and a half in the mole and we made 40k and to me that was that's the reason you just want to cry you know because I mean you have to filter things in like your fuel costs your time and the risk you run of a potential server glitch ruining a really great run you know so it's it's a patience game you have to have a lot of tolerance for the instability of the environment and not get upset you know when you have something like that happen because it's out of your control and what's important is you enjoyed the time you spent while you were doing it more than uh, being upset with the potential glitch yeah you've got to like your mining partner <laughs> yep yeah if you can't get along with your crew Thanks for a long day. And if you're like us and you're sitting right next to each other, it helps if they shower and bathe on a regular basis too, because then you're you know, dealing with the real life issues associated with that. Sorry, I went back to head track because I'm looking for rocks again. Oh, and then you see it kind of goes down here. Is that head tracking? Yeah, it's because it's getting darker in here. I have to set up a light um, source that's facing me, kind of like illuminating that window. Yeah. So it creates a backlit kind of situation. So like I have yours set up, the, the light is there, but it's not shining on you. It's kind of illuminating the corner. I don't know, there's a bunch of desk lamps around here that can be used, so I'm not going to use that head tracker until I fix the lighting source. Alright, we're going to uh, keep hunting. We'll be back soon. Okay, some days are just like amazing days. Um, look at this rock, guys. 44, 32 mass, 13.76% Terranite. 19.12% agresium. This can be the kind of rock that you get it all on board and then you immediately run to go sell it because you don't want to have anything else bad happen. But we have all, a few more rocks here to scan. This could be one of those. Um, in fact, there are too many rocks here to scan. Look at that. 12% oh. agresium. We're in the money. Oh my god. We're in the money. Yeah, I usually call something like this a 30k field. Yeah. Because you don't you know, even. I mean, there's about 15 no. rocks that we have to look at here. Um, just spread all over this field. But honest to goodness, this is. Uh, it's one of those days, one of those things that happens and you just you smile. Alright, we'll come back for that. There's a 12% of greasing. Yep, and what's best is it's got those multiple components, so that also drops down the inert factor quite a bit. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, shall we take the Terranite first? Yep. Or uh, work on this Egresium that's right under us right now? Well, we can work on the Egresium. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, Terranite. 5% more Terranite. And that's a smaller rock. Yep. The instability is really high. Yeah, I'll help you. But it might be worth it. You can help me with so, it. So do we want to tackle this one while we're right here? Yeah. Um. Or was it right there? Yeah. I don't know. I can't 
that's how we, yeah, yeah, that's the 12% of grisium. Yeah. Where are we at with cargo? 20, 30%. All right, we have plenty of room. Huh? Yep. Normally what we would do is target the most important rock first. And in a prospector, you, that's really what you got to do because you don't have as much cargo space to play with. But where we do here in the mall, we're able to take some liberties. Um, you ready, babe? I am. Can I go? Yeah. Do you need me to come buff it? Or Let me just see first. I can usually tell once I see the green and red. There it is. Are you down there? Or no, not? I can be. You need me to be. Oh, let me see. Just need me to nudge forward. No, go. I got it. Okay. I'm in the green. Alright. See, the funny thing is with these rocks. Once you get in the green, like this particular time, I jump way up to the, almost to the top of the green. Yeah, that's... So you gotta be so careful. That's the instability in the rock. Yeah. That's exactly what that does. It fluctuates the laser power. So, here we have, it's a nice break. I broke it into five pieces. So, the first one is only barrel and aluminum. Second one is 66% agresium. Um, of a 773 mass rock and it can be broken so that's good uh, barrel diamond and barrel and aluminum barrel oh my god that's and barrel that is so awesome. I got one rock isolated it to one rock that can be broken down further so I'm not going to end up it's a total composite of 68, 70, 75% is sellable ore. Beautiful. So you can't get much better than that. And now I'm going to break it and hopefully get a bunch of 100% agresium rocks. Because I prefer not to have the other ore. Sure. Because I'm thinking about that Terranay rock. <laughs> yep. I know, it's so hard, right? Wow. Yeah, this is a really small green. But Mama got it. Oh, yeah, Daddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that break. That is beautiful. Oh, 100% of grease in your mind. Oh, where did you go, you little son of a bitch? So, it, I find that the agresium flies away on you. All right. I'm going to record this on my spreadsheet. So I don't record on the spreadsheet until I have the rock where I want it at its lowest denomination. So I know, so for example, this one's 110 at 100% 100 agresium. So I'm going to record that and extract the son of a gun, get it out of my way so I can get at the other agresium. As we all know, there's more. Now, here's a 155 mass that's only 20% agresium. And I'm not going to touch it because it's not worth getting that inert. I'm going to hold out for the 100%. Here's another 100% agresium at 77. So, again, it's worth it. 77 mass. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to add that to the other column. Yep. Instead of using up two columns for that. You agree I shouldn't go for that 20%, right? Nope. Not when we've got other things here to go break. If we don't get clean breaks, we'll, we can always come back. We'll make the call once we see what the cargo containment looks like. Good idea. You're so smart. Wicked smart. Wicked smart. Yeah. yeah, this is a beautiful rock. Yeah, it is. And it's not the best. No, but... Ooh, I found another 100% of Grecium hiding in the bowels. Yeah, in the bus stop. 170. Nice. That's 358. 
money, Ron. Yep. 39% cargo. Beautiful. All so right, we have ready? plenty. Wait. See? There's another Egresium hiding. Wow. 111. Oh, is that Gooch Rock falling in front of it? I know. I gotta stop now. Hundred and eleven. That's four seventy. Wow. See, sometimes those big rocks are worth it if they break up nice. Alright, take me to Terranite City. <coughs> Take me down to Taranite City where the rocks are big and the money's pretty. Oh, oh, take me home. I was just going to do that. Sorry. It took away my thunder. Your thunder? My thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Boston, Sean. I know. Where are you going? I'm putting you over it oh. so you have a better, yeah. you know, okay. range on your laser. Yeah. That's all. So yeah, that's what we used to do because you have better downward. Yeah, okay. you, you forgot. I know, I'm a jerk. All right, 42% capacity that we used up. Now this is freaking 14% Taranite and almost 20% of these. Yeah, this has to be like the best rock we've seen in quite Ever. a long time. I yeah. think it's like, yeah. So the instability is almost three. All right, let me come down and Yeah, that. come down Don't and help me risk. with this. All right. Let me, uh, give me a sec, because that's where we don't want to have that problem. Have that thing blow up in our face. And this is where this Hofstad laser really comes in handy, because of its name. I'm staying around 50, babe. Yeah, just until you get down I'm there. there. I'm in the chair. I'm just gonna... You're so fast. I'm just gonna turn it on. Okay. And the buff is on. Uh, yes, too much. It brought it to 136. Yeah, it brought the instability down. I was hoping for a bigger green. No, I can only give you that if I jump in the other helix. Alright. All right, can you raise it up a little? I'm going to keep it 70. Yeah, I'll bring it up until we start seeing that go on the 30 and climbing. 40. Okay. 50. I'm at 100. All right, back down to 70. I did. I'm back down to 76. All right, it's climbing up. I'm at 76 now. All right, don't go higher. pieces are all isolated. Yep. We didn't blow up. And Let's see what we actually got. Actually rolling back. Inert material, 431. Love it. So here's a thousand mass rocks, 7% Terranite, 11 Agresium. You're going to get Another these. 500 that's inert. Oh, babe. Yeah. 724 mass, 100% Agresium. Oh my God. Oh my, I'm looking at it on my 535 mass, 100% Terranite. Get out. Seriously. Oh we're freaking in the money. This is going to be the best run ever if we can get this done. All right, I'll We should start. do takeout for dinner tonight yeah, and celebrate. Yeah, Chinese or something. Yeah. All right, so. All right, wait, I'm looking at the other one. So did you notice that the inert, the rock that was way off, Isolated, 100% inert, 475. Yep. So there was another gonna, one that was like almost a thousand inert. Yeah, 666 inert. I love it yeah. when you can break it so clean like that. Yeah. All right, I'll start the Agrisium. You start the Taranite. Oh, okay. 
and then we'll just. He always gives me the hard one. Well, you're the expert. I'm just the schmuck. Oh my gosh, I I I've never had this much taronite. I think the most I've ever had was three hundred and fifty. I've never seen anything that high. Well, you miss out when I go out on my prospect. Uh, yeah, I know. Sometimes I got other things. I know. Good thing I don't. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm at twenty-seven percent right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm not even twenty. This thing's taking Whoa. Low lag spikes. But here's the thing, though. I mean, I've never completely dissolved a rock. Have you? Um, no, but we've been blown out into space because of the rock. Oh, yeah, that's true. See, I'm going out of the red. I'm, I mean, out of the green. I know, me too. Conservative. I'm so cautious. I'm not, <laughs> it's not. Got mine. Yeah, this laser's not like a helix. It's, it's a lot less powerful and it fluctuates a lot more. Well, if you want to do the extraction on the Terranite, I can get it the reason. I'm almost there. Okay, I'll extract the Terranite. Alright, I'm going to extraction mode. Okay. Do you want to record these individually or you just want to grab it? Because at this point, I think our hull will be full. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, let's just uh, screw the spreadsheet. Yeah. I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want this shit on board and I want it out of here. Alright, I just hit 52%. Yeah, I see, Cargo. I see the same thing you see. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm in a laser. Oh my gosh. I know, I can't I'm like, this. I, I know! This rock is like, unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. No. And this is better than the one we lost when the server was gooched. Oh, 100% better. I mean, in terms of com composition. And there's still another... Thousand mass rock with 6.79 and 11 percent of greasy in there to break. I don't need it. Oh, I got one of your. Oh, I'm I'm doing your greasy. Yeah. Sorry. You're, you're like that. <laughs> yeah. See that one there. The oh, this thousand one. Mass? Yeah, we can yeah. try breaking that. All right. You gonna help me? Yeah, I'll bump right. it. Oh, that helped. Oh yeah. That jumped the green too. Yeah. Again, yeah, no, we might as, much as well as be greedy. With that. I need, oh, don't, don't move. It's rushing. You see yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you slimy little thing, you. I'm at down, zero. Down, down. I'm at zero. Okay. I turned it off. That's going to lose my buff. I so. turned my throttle down. All right, yeah, do that because you don't want to lose that instability buff. So, it is three dogs. Woo! Whoa, big knock, Pedro. <laughs> I love this PBS shit. Hey, I never hit the green, the red, though. I never hit the red. Uh, it's, it's only 1% of Grisium on that chunk. 35% Terranite on that one that rolled. I got the one that rolled, that is rolling. 8% Terranite. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see if I can get this one. 20%. Oh, you saw that one. That's 8%. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. What's your call? I mean, we're going to pull a lot of inert. We got 73%. I'm not willing to grab inert. Yeah, because that's 80% of that rock is going to be inert. And I know... How about it, the 35%? What about the 35% and the 95? I don't see that. Turn here and look over your shoulder. It's a triangle. Looks like a tri Yeah, that one. Yeah, I grabbed that because that's a smaller percentage. And it's a small mass. Yeah, and I would say so, leave the 8%er and maybe yeah. we should take the 20%er because that's still a lot of money. And we're at the end of the run. And we've we're got, only at 75%. Yeah, that's true. We still have a big agrisium rock to break over there. Yeah, let's go get the agrisium. There's break. actually two out here. Are still, there two more? Yeah. <gasps> Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's one at like 12 and one at 15. I'm so excited. Yeah, let's save the 25% for that. Yeah, because those could be 100%ers, and I'd rather bring that on board because.
believes that 100% agrisium is worth so much more than a 20% terranite. So I said that the terranite was about 555, right? Something like that, yeah. All right, I'm going to put that in the spreadsheet and see how much money that rock is. Right, good idea. $36,000. Wow. For that one, for the terranite piece. How That's, much was the agrisium, do you remember? It was like 400, I think. All right. Yeah. Let's do 400 degrees here. Okay, let's go find those other big rocks that are going to make us some more money. So the Agrisium piece is 21,000. Oh, it's diamond. So that is a $67,000 rock. Wow. And I think we rounded low. I think you're right. I think we were way low. Um, sorry, I gotta rescan these because I turned it from scanner mode. That's alright. But I know that there's a, at least two more full Agrisium stones in this field that were high value. So, folks, this is why we're so patient. Because when you find a rock like that, it just, as you could well know, it gets us all like giddy and stuff because it's an incredible money maker. Yep, there's that 15% agrisium, tungsten, and aluminum at 1900 mass. Oh, nice small one. Yep, quick and easy, yep. and a money maker rock because it's got <laughs> low and fat, high in content. If it, if it breaks right. Yeah, that's true, it could be a, a nudge. If it breaks right. It could be a Gucci rock. Yep, you good. All right, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see that instability? Oh, I'll lower it a little. That's good. It's okay. The green's big enough for me. I can handle that. Oh, I can't wait to get back to Levski. Uh, I know. I'm sleep. kind of freaked out. So, as soon as we get... Old Elson's going to have a party when we get back to Levski. He loves us. We have to go to the VIP room Son downstairs. Of a bitch. Sorry, excuse my French. Hmm. Well, they say worse things on PBS these days. All right. That was very unimpressive. No, well, don't say that until you, you know, if you're isolating. It doesn't matter. You can always melt those aluminum rocks. Get them out of your way. Um, that's looking pretty good to me right now because you're picking up a lot of junk rock. Yeah, I haven't seen the good agrisium yet. Couldn't be right there, could it? No, of course not. I think it's that one right there, yeah. Oh, oh, 326 mass, 93%. I love it when a plan comes together. And 326.94. So it's 99% agrisium at 326.94. That's 100% rock. Yeah. 100% sellable yep. rock. Yep. 90. Wow. Thank you, little rock. Point forty eight. And. What was it, tungsten? Yeah. yeah 6.52. 6 That's some money. That's $16,500 money. Maybe we can't afford to buy that extra laser. Yeah. But I actually, I like having the hops that are on here. I do I too. Think I it think has it has value. its own. I do. Yeah. Agreed. I think Tank was right. So shout out to Tank. Um, he and I were having this conversation. All right, is that it? Yep. Yeah. All right. We got another agrisium? Other, yeah, there's like one out here with like 15% somewhere. We're at 83% cargo, so we got plenty of room. Yep. I mean, we've got enough that if we find this last agrisium rock and we're done with it, we can go back and snatch that 20% terranite. Mm-hmm. Because it's already broken up. We just got to back it up. So like that's a five percent Terranite rock on a nineteen 
21. Master Arc. I'm not seeing it because I'm not in scan mode. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just telling it. It's there. I know where are you, you stupid little Eurasian mark. I'm hiding over here somewhere. No, it's a one percent. There's so many rocks Another in this place. Another one percent. Just seeing things, maybe. You know, I might have been, but I could have sworn it was a. We had two fifteen percent. I might have. We might have got it already. To be completely honest with you, I might be. I might have been. Hallucinating. Yeah, you want to just break this. Let's do the five percent turn. Yeah, because we know we've got twenty percent sitting over there waiting to get grabbed. So have a swat at that. See what you can do with it. How big is it? I, I can't see now. You're going to have to. All right. Seems a little on. far away if it's not. Oh, no, it's small. Yeah, it's small. Okay. Yeah, I got this. The red's fine. Okay. I mean, the green's fine. It's actually almost as big as the red. So. Want me to pull up a little? Let me just see. I'm only at 40%. No. Okay. 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 Settling in at about 20% throttle. Beautiful. 26. Woohoohoo! Oh, look at that. You know, that had to have gone well. Let's hope anyway. Well, 15% Terra Knight. Uh, 206. I don't know that that's worth it. 8 Terranite on 155. That's why I don't like Terranite because it splits up really weird on these small things. Well, it splits up in such a way that you're forced to take an arc with you whether you like it or not. It's right. rare to get that. Like I've never seen that break we got where we had oh. a at a 100% Terranite. That was nuts. So I got 20% of sellable ore on a 166 mass rock. 18 on the 200 rock. That's isolated aluminum. Yeah, I forget what the masses were on that other one. You want to go look, and then we can make a decision. I mean, at this point, I'd say bring it on board because we're leaving anyway. Yeah, that's true. All right. We're not going to risk goofiness, so. All right. I'll grab it. At least a 20, and then we'll go look at the other one was a 20, and then we'll see what we got left. Oh, uh, I got the 16. That's I fine. The 20. Where's the 20? I don't think there was a 20 there. No, you said you did. There were two 15s. All right, let's go get the 20. And then we'll, if we have space, what do we got for cargo now? We got 88. Let me grab this one while we're here. Okay. Oh, I said 20%. Yeah, it's 16 Terranite, but total of 20% ore. Okay. Okay. We're in 92. All right. Let's, so we should be able to get that, another one. I think it was in this big pile right up here. Yeah. Which we should be able to scan them again. Oh, no. That was the egresium pull we just did. So it's not in that pile. Okay. It's in another one of these rubble piles that we're leaving behind. Um, we're working. Try I don't that think one. it's that, because that's what you just broke up, right? 44% right. tungsten, yeah. aluminum. I think it was the one you were just on. All right, I'll scan them. Because that was the Terranite Egresium rock from heaven. Whoa. Whoa. Are we upside down? No, we're sideways. <laughs> thing turns like a turd. Yeah, I think it is this pile. Um because there's barrel in there and diamond barrel I mean, we didn't leave much behind there
Oh yeah, twenty percent of Grisium rock at one fifty five. That's what we left behind. Oh okay. So that and but it's got a lot of other good stuff in it. Okay. So I'm nowhere near being able to get it. So. Yep, I'm bringing it. Okay. You should be able to get it now. It's to the left a little bit, I think. It's purple. Uh, I think there might even be a Taranite left over in there, too. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, I mean, that's got a pretty high composition of other rock in it, too. It's not just a Yeah, 40% about. So it's not super crap. Doesn't matter. No, it's going to top us off really fast. Yeah. We're at 96 and a half. All right. Did you see Taranite somewhere? Uh, let's see. Because I, I know. It would be in that rock, wouldn't it? I don't know. I, I, we had so many rocks to break, and we did such a mess around here now, in a good way, I'm not complaining, but we were busy in this little area, I think, oh, what's this little pile, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, I just saw Terranite flash by yeah, the Yeah, it's 8%, but I know there's like a 20 in there too, so let me get you over there. Oh, could it be that little one that's hiding right there? No, that's aluminum. There's a 5% Terranite no, that needs to be broken at up. at least. It was already broken. It was ready to grab. Here it is, 8%? Yeah. At 155 yeah, plus grab it. aluminum? Well, no, check and make sure there's nothing better. Hold on, let me get you up. Okay. And over the whole pile, because you see there's like rocks kind of hiding. Yeah, the one that's hiding at the bottom is breakable. Well, oh, okay. And that has. No, oh, no, go up above a bit. Check that one up there, right? Yeah. This one is five percent terranite that it's I can still break. Yellow. No, I'll grab the one that's already eight. That's good. Yeah, because the mass is so low, it's worth it. Ah, cargo full. Nice. All right, folks, we're going to uh, fly back to Levski, and uh, we'll catch you when we land, and we're ready to sell this stuff. Show you our printout. Yep. Okay, folks, here we are at Levski, getting ready to get off the ship and go, uh, go see how we did. Very exciting. <laughs> Aren't you? Uh, yeah, I am now. Oh. Oh, look. Dawn of the Dead. The mob. Got the elevator. Thanks. What's in the box? What's in the box? Come on. Alright. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, we shouldn't do that. We could kill ourselves jumping in the elevator. And... Oh, we can? I don't know. Oh. I'm just saying, now's not a good time to try anything new and stupid. Oh, I ran into boxes. Oh, wow. Did you just run into me? Yeah, you just pushed me into the wall. <laughs> well, get out of the way. Alright, moment of truth. Oh my gosh. I think it'll be the best run we've ever he had. He wasn't letting me select them all. 174K. Nice. And see, that kind of tells 18 us. Yeah. Alert. Like, if we kept going, this could have easily been a 200K run if we were looking at hundreds. But look at those totals 132K in a greasy 15% or. Uh, Terranite, 40k. This is just the perfect run. I mean, in so many ways. But this 18% inert came on those last couple rocks we pulled. Because we didn't care. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we were so close to being done. Um, we have done better, though. Yeah, we have had 190K runs, but, I mean, I that's one of the better runs we've had recently. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's huge. It's nothing to sneeze at. That's no. For sure. It's a beautiful thing. <coughs> and, uh, okay, folks, thanks for watching. Sorry it was long. Yeah. But, Thought it was valuable, though. Yeah, hopefully we, uh, we got to share some insights with you about why we take our time out there and what we do and why we do it. But, uh, We'll be seeing you in the verse, um, hopefully in 3.9, and we will do some updated um, insights on the new mining consumables and anything else that changes, because that's going to be probably our primary focus, especially if there's a wipe, because we're going to want to get right back out there and make some money. So um, we'll be talking to you. Bye, guys.